Hey guys and welcome to my video. I'm Alan Stewart and today I'm going to be telling you about my four favorite coffee brewing devices for hiking and camping. At the moment I'm sitting near the remains of the Sakura Chayo Tea House. Behind me is where the tea house actually was a long time ago. Pilgrims would come here and enjoy some tea and continue on their journey along the Kamano Koro Nakahechi route to the Nachisan Shrine, which is about a day's walk uh, from where I am right now. And I just thought it would be a great spot to make this uh, coffee video for you guys to show you my four favorite coffee brewing devices. Okay, let's get into it. So number one we have here is the Aeropress. We are all familiar with the Aeropress. It's a great device to use for hiking and camping because it's lightweight, compact, um, it's easy to clean and you can even fit a grinder inside. Um, so yeah, I've had this Aeropress for a while now and it's good. However, if you are hiking or camping with other people as well, it's nice to make a coffee for them too. You can only make one coffee at a time and you're really only limited by the amount of water you can fit inside here to brew your coffee. And it can take a little bit long, maybe that. Uh, two to four minutes depending on which recipe you use. Uh, so that's the Aeropress. Okay, so the next brewing device I want to show you is my newly purchased uh, Silicon V60. So it comes in two parts. Um, it's got like a foldable, um, I don't know what you call it, but you unfold that and you put it on your cup and then you put the cone on top and then you put your filter and then you pour water and do the rest. Um, so I'll just show you what it looks like on the cup. Here we go. Um, that's what it looks like. So this is great for capping high here because one, it's lightweight, um, it falls into two parts. Um, it's silicon so you don't have to worry about breaking it and um, because it's silicon it's lighter than ceramic. Um, however, it does squeeze a little bit so you just got to be a bit careful when you're brewing your coffee. I think the V6 is a great for brewing coffee between one to two people um, because you can make like two cups of coffee in them, um, so it's great. Also get other uh, V6s which are very suitable for hiking and camping. Um, there's a, after I bought this one, I saw another one, um, which is also silicon and it kind of pops out of itself. So it's just one piece. You don't have to worry about losing this one. Moving along, okay, so the next brewing device I have here is my insulated French press. I love it because it's got this hook here so I can clip it onto my bag. Um, it's a bit dirty at the moment because I've been, just been using it, but there's the lid and then there's the, if I can get it out, so there's the lid and then here's the French pressy thing which goes like that and then I can just pour coffee out of it like that. You can either make coffee before you go hiking, or you can take it with you and make fresh coffee with you, enough for two people. Um, so, one downside of using the French press, like all French presses, is that they can be a bit messy when cleaning. Um, so that's just one downside, but not a deal breaker for me. I still enjoy using this. Um, also, and last but not least, um, this is m probably more popular in Japan, but I think you can get these um, at other places in the world. I don't see them so much in Australia, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, so this is a disposable drip bag coffee. Um, you can find them in a lot of uh, places in Japan. Um, and a lot of coffee roasters are making them. Um, however, I recommend trying the coffee before you buy it because um, oftentimes I've just bought the bag without trying the coffee and I tasted it and it wasn't very nice. Um, these are, well, good for, because they're lightweight, easy to use, easy to carry. All you need is hot water. Um, you put your drip bag in your cup and then you put hot water in and that's basically it. Um, this may not be everyone's favorite type of coffee, but it might be a bit better than the uh, little packets of coffee you might get like, well, let's just say it's a lot better than Nescafe still. Um, probably not your best tasting coffee though, um, but 
Coffee is very subjective and very personal, so it really depends on the individual drinking it. Okay, so they are my four coffee brewing devices for hiking and camping. I'll put information and links in the description below so you can go and check these out for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you've found these uh, brewing devices useful and maybe you might want to get some of those for your next camping trip. So I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.